In many cases, vias are often located very close to component pads, and during board assembly, capillary action can cause solder paste to flow onto exposed copper areas such as vias, which in turn can lead to poor soldering quality. This can be even more problematic when using vias to connect to internal rows of BGA devices. In the 3D view, let's turn off the component bodies to get a better look at the pads and fan out vias for the BGA. Here we can see some of the vias are quite close to the pads. The presence of exposed metallized holes such as vias under the BGA can be considered prone to solder paste leakage from adjacent pads. This in turn can be a cause for short circuits that will be difficult to identify and fix. Switching to the 2D view, let's focus on an area towards the centre of the BGA. We'll use group selection to illustrate how to tent vias manually. Once the vias have been selected, using the properties panel, switch solder mass expansion to manual, and then check mark the tented option. Now switching to the 3D view, we can see the selected vias are now tented and no longer exposed. It's also possible to create design rules to tent all vias in the PCB by creating a new solder mask rule. To create a new solder mask rule, let's go to the menu Design Rules. Then select Mask, Solder Mask Expansion, then add a new rule. Let's name the new rule. We want the new rule to apply only to vias. So let's change the scope using a custom query to Is Via. Next, in the Constraints area, select the option Tented. Once we apply these changes, all vias in the PCB will become tented. The best way to see the result of the new design rule is by switching to the 3D view. Here we see all wires are now tented and are no longer exposed to solder paste.